That part of the projects were always uh, the most dangerous and the most crime ridden and the most scary for me. I mean, I, I, w I would walk around them, I'd spend a lot of time just staying away from that area. Now, I don't feel that way. We didn't really call it racial profiling back then. I don't remember what we called it, but uh, you know, turns out racial inequality was, was alive and well at that time. I moved in Alice Taylor in 1984. My name is Kevin Smith. Um, my position is clerk for the works for Wentworth Institute. I just had moved off from South Carolina and my sister lived in Mission, Maine at the, at the time. Um, and I enjoyed the city when I came to visit and I decided to stay. As a community liaison working at Wentworth, I um, like on a daily or a weekly basis, I go out and reach out to um, residents in the Mission Hill area just to see if they have like any issues or concerns as um, far as the projects that are going on around here and to, you know, let them know of all the um, things that are going on involved on campus. Um, that's pretty much it in the projects. Times substantially, yes, I, I believe so. You know, there's still a little few dangerous spots and, and, and areas and still some, you know, troublemakers that, that are they're around here, but far less. Alice Taylor is not a loving, viable community. We um, have duplex townhouses where people have patios and come out and cook out. We have parking, we have a playground for the kids. Uh, we, it, it's, it's changed tremendously in the last past 15, 20 years. So, so that's good. I like to think that some of the good things have stayed and gotten better and the bad things have been corrected or in the process of getting better. Well, the whole neighborhood has changed for the better, I believe. Every year we have a Unity Day and that's where all the residents come out for a big cookout. And to me that brings unity to our, our development and to the neighborhood because everyone in the Mission Hill area is invited. It's free food, free rides, um, entertainment, and this is something that they've been doing for the last, I'm going to say about 15 to 20 years. So it's fun to actually see people, you know, you haven't probably seen in months or even years come out and everyone's celebrating. Because we invite people from the institutions, of state officials, um, the administrator of the Housing Authority, and everyone usually come out and participate. You get to learn who your neighbors are, um, you know, what's, you know, you have quality time with your family. Um, you get to know who's actually in your development, because a lot of times you don't even know who your neighbors are or who's living around your area. So it's actually a good time for everybody to get out and mingle and meet one another. People need to know who their neighbors are. And in a city like Boston, people you lose that part of their life. They don't know who their neighbors are. They don't in interact with their neighbors. But in a small area like Mission Hill, you pretty much know who your neighbors are.